hello today we will be talking about two pointers approach two pointers approach is not limited to just array but it can also be used to link list or with any other linear data structure it works on sorted array so it's a precondition to use two pointers approach and it usually used to find a pair out of array it's one of the most famous interview question being asked continuously in many companies so let's see what is a two point what what's two pointer approach and how it is used and how why it is used so for example if you are given an interview question which says that for an sorted array for a sorted array which is in ascending order which with length n we need to find a pair of elements with a sum equal to k so you are given an array you need to find if there exist such a pair which is having a sum of 70 now just by looking we know that it's 15 20 but how would a computer know how would an algorithm know that there exist a pair so what is the naive solution very naive solution would be to search for all the pairs search for all the pairs right that's very typical that's very typical solution and in which we will go over the array two times in inner and outer loop we will have a for loop and after for loop and then we will have another inner loop in such a way that we will be going for all the possible pairs now we will be searching if a of i and a of j is equal to k and if this happens then we just written true else we will return false so if there exist a pair we would get to know with the help of this condition but what's the problem yes the complexity is n square and for this and for each of this n we will be having n times here so the complexity is n square now is there a way to solve the problem in linear time complexity here comes two pointers approach to rescue now if you see here this algorithm is not making any difference even if the array is sorted but we can make good use of it we can have two pointers and we can increase or decrease them based upon some condition that means we can move them based upon some condition now we need to decide two things one where to place these pointers and the conditions to move them so if you see if you're having the array which is 10 20 35 50 75 and 80 and our k is 70 what we can do we can have one pointer here and another pointer here now we can move either i towards right or we can move j towards left but what is the condition if we need to increase the sum we can move i 
because we know towards left only higher values are present and if we need to decrease the sum then we can do j minus minus because we know that as j moves towards left values will decrease so we decided to place i and j at the terminal so that it is easier to decide the conditions else if we would have placed i and j at different locations we might not have been able to decide the conditions so perfectly so here now we know that i and j are they are at two distinct terminal and we have the perfect condition now what we can do we can make a pseudo code and let's see how it works so let's say int i is placed as zeroth location int j is placed as n minus 1 location n being length of the array we can have while loop while i is less than j and we can check if a of i plus a of j is equal to k that is our base condition then we return true else if a of i plus a of j is greater than k that means we need to decrease the sum and when we need to decrease the sum then we can reduce it the j else we can just simply i plus plus now let's run it let's dry run it so we have i here and j here so the sum of i and j being 90 we know that it's not equal to k but we know it's certainly greater than k hence we need to move some value and that would be 80 so we are reducing the value of j to the 75 now again the condition is checked and we find that i is still less than j and we check the same condition if the, it's equal to k it's not is it still greater than k 75 plus 10 85 yes it is greater so we will be reducing j one more time now it becomes 50 plus 10 which is 60 and now the condition comes here because 60 is lesser than k hence now we will be increasing the value of i and i will go here here 50 plus 20 now it will become equal to k hence it will just return true so here we saw that in just one pass or one iteration it was possible to find the pair so the complexity reduces to o of n and that's a significant significant improvement over our last solution so today if we recap we realize that if we want to find two pointers if we want to find a pair in a sorted array we could use something called two pointers approach to solve an algorithm to solve a problem in linear time thank you